Hey everyone, Derek here with day three of my Pokemon Go journal. And boy, do I have to stop doing these so late, but that's just the way it's been ending up for me lately where I'm super busy during the day with one thing or the other, and I just don't find the time to play Pokemon Go until later at night. And uh, yeah, so I tried to go out early today to go to that Poke uh, Stop place that I was talking about before in the next town over in order to uh, sort of build up my Pokeballs and whatnot, but I just wasn't able to make up the time. For it. So basically, what I ended up doing is once I completed my Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door live stream, I went to my friend's place, which is in another town, very close by, and was just hanging out with them finally. I was a little late for their party because they were doing sort of like a. It was a 4th of July party, just not on the 4th of July because not everybody could make it that at that time. I was very curious what kind of situation their town would have. And. Where he lived was very sparse as far as Pokestops, but within an easy f four or five block walk, all of a sudden it was Pokestop Central. Still not as much as the other place I wanted to go, but enough that there was a ton of places. And the other thing that got me really excited was that I saw three gyms all in a row that were on Team Blue, and I'm like, sweet. Once I finish up at the party, I'm gonna go off, uh, go off that way and put three Pokemon in those gyms so I can make some quick cash. And because I'm still struggling to make money, because here's the thing, Pokemon gyms are vicious. It is so hard to keep and maintain them, especially I'm finding because I'm on Team Blue. It's so hard to find a consistent, good Team Blue player, and I've only been able to really maintain one. I popped on another as I was heading home from another way, because basically what happened is as I was waiting there, I saw somebody from Team Red systematically go from one spot to the next to the next and take everything over. It's frustrating because when I went there, I decided, okay, I took a look at the Pokemon. I'm like, okay, I think I can take this one. I'm going to try to take this gym, make it my own, get it back to Team Blue. And I was doing it. I took out his first Pokemon. I got to my the second Pokemon that was a little lower. And I basically had him beaten. And then the common glitch that I've heard a lot of people complain about happened to me, where basically the Pokemon you're fighting is on their last legs, and all they need is that one last hit, but for whatever reason, it glitches out and you can't take it over. And it sucks. And the thing is, I encountered this before, but it basically glitched out so that it just never never ended. No, what happened is I couldn't kill them, but they killed me. So all the Pokemon I sent out, of course, just got wrecked, and I couldn't take the gym, which was just frustrating so that that's the funny thing is that that's the only place I'm really seeing these server issues anymore because I didn't really come across many today I mean granted I played at a limited spot and I played late at night which is where it's typically a little bit better but I still had an easier time and man it was frustrating because I really want to take these gyms and I, I want to make this extra money but I just haven't been able to and it's it's rough so as far as gym battling goes didn't do too great tonight but i did i was able to stop at quite a few poke stops and that's where the real fun came in because what i decided to do was the part most people had left it was just me and two other friends and neither of them are really into pokemon but they've been hearing all about pokemon go and i'm like you know what like okay let's go let's take a walk and go to these poke stops i can kill two birds with one stone i captured a drill while I was at the party and these two guys what they joined me and we just we're just you know talking and whatnot and just traveling from poke stop to poke stop with me sort of navigating in order to take advantage of it and I'd show them when a pokemon would pop up and catch it most of them are old ones but then I found a I saw on the radar a vulpix and unfortunately it disappeared very quickly but I know there's a vulpix somewhere in that area which makes me very hopeful because I really would like a vulpix so, but didn't really catch anything there, but we just made it from Pokestop to Pokestop. And the funny thing was, is that this area is kind of also the bar area. There's a lot of different bars or pubs or whatever around. There were so many people walking around with their phones out playing Pokemon Go. And it was just funny because you'd see groups of like three or four people walking along, all of them having Go out and catching them all. And the funny thing is I talked to a few of them. Uh, because we, you know, met up at certain po uh, Pokestops and especially gyms where they were just opposite teams. I'm like, man, I have no chance. Even if I take this, they're just going to beat it back off, you know, take it back immediately. Which is also why I became a little discouraged with taking gyms. I'm continuing my focus on getting my Pokemon CP up to a decent level so I can actually stand a chance. And it's it's rough to be able to do that, like because I've heard some very high CP Pokemon, so it's gonna get it's already competitive out there. It's gonna get even more competitive. But the cool thing is, is I 
and we were walking past a uh, a porch where two people were sitting out and i just happened to have my phone out at the time trying to catch a pokemon and the woman there immediately recognizes like ah pokemon go and it's like we just started struck up a conversation where her boyfriend was just not into it just not uh, not having any of it and was talking to my friends how they were sort of exploring it but not really they, they found it interesting but that's something they would really get into but the girl she was to completely into it along with her daughter and the funny thing is, is that she told me she was just, she was not a Pokemon player. She never got into Pokemon, but she heard so much about it and all the news stories and all this sudden craze about it. She was like, all right, let's check this out, especially because it was covering her Facebook and whatnot. So she decided to check it out. Lo and behold, she got addicted. She's already up to level six within like a day and a half because, well, she lives in that area. So she has access to a ton of Pokestops and whatnot and has just been killing it. And it's, it's really cool to see people just embrace this i it's it's we had a pretty long conversation just talk about how it built up and like we talked about how the fact that if we were just walking normally we wouldn't have said a word to each other we would have just walked by and minded our own business and that whole thing but there's already this sense of community because you again you can spot other pokemon go players and you know most people are friendly so you're able to talk to one another and get this real sense together it's 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 wonderful i just had a good time and eventually left and talked to a few people yeah we're on different teams and whatnot but we're still enjoying each other's company and offering up tips to where we can find pokemon which led me to actually find a lickitung and a bulbasaur both two really great catches only found one of course but you know i'm filling out the pokedex and have uh made some pretty decent progress at least i feel like it i'm almost actually a third complete with the pokedex feeling really happy about that i'm at level i'm at uh, 39 total so far uh which is just so so cool uh, that I found this much variety, and there's still some out there that I haven't, like, I've spotted a Mankey that I haven't caught yet, there's the Vulpix that I haven't caught yet, uh, stuff like that, and I'm still able to evolve Pokemon, because one of the things I've gotten in the habit of doing is that once I finish up for the night, get back home, I take inventory of all my Pokemon and see how many each type has, as far as Poke, Poke candies, or their, their candies, and seeing if I could evolve them, and I try to use my Stardust to like pick one and like, okay, this is the one I'm going to strengthen before I evolve. And then in this case, I decided to strengthen my Nidoran female before I evolved it into Nidorina because I had gotten enough Pokemon candies. I uh, was so happy that I got Nidorina, of course, nicknamed it Betty for my uh, po Pokemon Yellow uh, Nuzlocke fans. So that's pretty cool to have. And I also evolved my one of my other Eevees. I did so and... Dang it, I got another, it's awesome I got another Vaporeon, but man, I was hoping for another, a Flareon or something, because, you know, the one that I evolved the first time had a uh, Swift as its second, as its special attack, and I thought that because this other Eevee I had had Dig, it might evolve into something else, but no, it, it evolved into Vaporeon again, so still working towards Flareon and Jolteon, it's cool that I got Vaporeon, but I, I really want to complete all the other Eevees, and uh, as I was thinking about it, thinking about Nuzlocke, I'd love to find a Farfetch'd, uh, so much so. So, you know, it was it was really cool. I, I, I did find a gem on the way home that I could pop down a uh, Pokemon in there and get a little extra coins. So we'll see if that uh, holds true or not. The, probably the funniest thing is as we were walking back to my car in their house, I um, found a, a, there was a car just that pulled over all of a sudden over to the side of the road near a Poke Stop. And I just kind of glanced over it in the car itself, and there, sure enough, there was the driver pulled over to play, to catch, to do the Pokestop and catch a Pokemon. <laughs> and the really funny thing is, is they, they were from Texas. I'm from Pennsylvania. So, yeah, it, it's, it's kind of funny how that all just works. And I think, you know, that that's the thing, is that the reason my friends decided to come with me is that they don't follow gaming news that much at all. They're not really that big of gamers, yet... The Pokemon Go fever has hit such a major point that even they were interested. And I'm not sure if they're actually checking, they'll actually check it out themselves, but it's still interesting to see it progress that far. And I'm still having a good time. I'm actually going to be meeting up with family tomorrow, so I'm going to another town, nearby town. So we'll see what kind of Pokemon I catch during that whole thing. And, uh, 
yeah, we'll just keep filling it out because my, I really, I think one of my major goals is to fill out as much as the po of the Pokedex as I can. And, you know, I'd love to, I'm almost at a third, I'm at 39 total. Uh, I'll pop up what the, uh, the, all the Pokemon I've caught in so far or evolved at this point for you guys in the um, video. So yeah. That's pretty much everything. Nothing too major to report on. I'll keep an eye out. I really want to find more Squirtles so I can eventually start getting their lines, but it looks like Bulbasaur is the most common starter in my area, so go figure. But yeah, with all that said, thank you guys for watching once more, and of course, stay tuned to Game Explained for more of these Pokemon Go journals and other information on Pokemon in general. With all that said, catch you guys later. Bye.